hello everyone you are welcome on my channel as in my previous tutorial we have studied how to install and virtual and linux red hat linux in the virtual box so now today uh, we will learn some basic commands that are required to operate a linux operating system so here i am on the screen of my red hat linux 5 version 5 so here let me log in okay root is my user okay but default user and it's the password now you will see that i am on my uh, home screen of this virtual machine i have installed it in the graphical mode if you might have the text mode or maybe the graphical mode so but i'll be working on this uh, graphical mode as you know the it has seven uh, by default a seven terminal uh, in which six are text mode terminals and one works on the graphic mode that is this one so let me open the terminal i'll work on the text mode so i will type uh, press alt control and f1 okay this will uh, bring me to on the text mode terminal okay you can check here i will show you here we have to log in again just type root ch with oh, sorry here is the password of root enter now you can see i am logged as root okay and the terminal first so if you want to check the terminal you have to type tty okay this is the command through which you can you can check the number of terminal on which terminal you are at now i am at terminal first so, okay uh, another command is clear clear command is used for the clear screen okay you will if you will uh, put this command then there will be the screen will be clear okay there will be nothing on the screen now we will uh, learn some basic command about the user okay how we can add or delete user so to add a user we will type user add and we will provide a username okay suppose i am giving user one here okay now it has created a user one if you want to check the details of user then you have to go to a directory that is named etc and shadow oh sorry pass pass w d okay but you can't go can't go directly to this uh, directory pass w d is a file or etc is a directory so to uh, to watch this file we have to type a command that is cat cat will show all information okay if you want to check the information of any file or content of any file then you have to put you have to type cat command okay you have to operate this command if i will type here you will see that the user one has been created you you can see it in the left bottom above root user one and other are the users that are by default user of root system so here you can see the uh, user details okay now i am again clearing this by this command and next to this if you want to set the password okay you want to be protected uh, password uh, user then you have to type pass wd the user okay which user you want to provide password here i am providing password to user one again uh, enter now here it is asking for the password i am giving the password one two three four okay it is asking for uh, confirmation again okay yes now you can see uh, authentication token update successfully it means it is it is successfully updated now if you want to check uh, the password where the password is stored okay so uh, the password storage file is cat cat is the command through which we can see the content okay so uh, etc slash shadow okay here you can see user one and uh, in front of user one there will be some has algorithm okay like dollar one dollar w id t this this is okay this is an algorithm protected encrypted password okay this is not a normal password as we uh, give to user one but this is a encrypted password it means uh, that uh, this system encrypt password uh, automatically and kept here if you will find that uh, if uh, any user has such type of uh, such type of en uh, encrypted text then you will see that this user is password protect protected I will give you another example that if a, a, a user doesn't have password then how it will looks so i am adding a one more user user add user 2 okay enter now if you will check again then then you will see user 2 okay at the left bottom that there is no uh, text like this so it means this user doesn't has any password okay now come to the next command if you want to delete a user which command you will use so this command is pass wd hyphen d okay but before this i will tell you the command for which you can delete the password of a user okay suppose user one i want to delete the password for user one so here you will type pass wd and the user name which user okay i am uh, deleting for user one 
now you can see removing password for user one is successful okay now the password of user one has been deleted now you can log login without password you can check it for this we will go to uh, terminal second to go another com uh, terminal we have a command that is csvt and next the terminal number by default we have seven so then you can type up to seven number here okay not more than if you will type eight then there will be no uh, no action by your system okay so up to seven we can type now i am typing here two okay now i am on the terminal two so i will log through user one okay now as you can see there is uh, the system is not asking for the password now you can okay if you uh, if you want to go to the previous a terminal then you have to again type chvt and on which we were we were on the terminal first okay now we are on the root user okay uh, terminal first and root user and here if you will give password to user 2 okay so again you will type pass wd sorry pass wd and user 2 here it is asking password i have given the password okay now if you will uh, log in at a uh, terminal 3 by user uh, 2 okay so user 2 and it is asking for the password 1 2 3 4 but in the at uh, but for user 1 it is not asked for password because we have earlier deleted the uh, password of user 1 and next uh, we come uh, okay let me clear this screen and i go to the terminal first okay now here uh, this is the screen of terminal first i am again clearing my screen uh, just okay if you want to watch uh, all the previous command you have to type the history command here okay now by history you can check all the commands now you can see that uh, there are some commands that can't be uh, seen seen on your screen for this for that you have to type history and pipe and then less okay and enter now you can press down arrow key and then check your commands all right okay and then escape option control oh sorry q okay here you will type q and then you will you will come out from the history and next now uh, the next command is that who okay who command is used to uh, see who are you at the time okay how much uh, who is logged on your system for example on terminal first the root user is logged on terminal 2 user 2 is logged in and on terminal 3 the user 2 is logged in so by who command you can check the all users that are logged on your system next command is who am i okay who am i system uh, command tells about you okay who is logged in at current time at the same terminal okay and next is who hyphen a this command tells about the id uh, means date and time and the terminal okay all information about user which user is logged on which terminal and what was the time and what is the time okay but if somehow if a third party or third person third user that logged somehow on your system you can kick out him okay you can uh, log out by by logging as root user for this you need the this uh, id okay that is here four number digit okay these are the ids through which you can kick out the user how you can kick for example i want to kick out user 2 okay so for that you have to type kill and the id of this okay just look at here here the id of this user is 2282 two. then kill 2282 two, and enter now if you will type uh, who a again then you will see that user t uh, user 2 doesn't log here okay now it was log on terminal 3 if you will go to terminal 3 uh, space terminal 3 then you will see it is again asking for the uh, login now if you will go to terminal first again okay sorry guys okay here yeah, this is my terminal first okay you can come uh, you can type chbt command or you can directly press on the keyboard alt control f1 f2 f3 to f7 okay up to f7 these are the short commands that you can directly change your terminal okay now i'm go to terminal 2 here you can see that user 1 is already logged but in my previous terminal on terminal 3 the user 2 was logged but we have kicked this user if you want to exit if you want to log out from this terminal just you have to type exit okay now you have come out from the you have log out from terminal second now let me come to the terminal first okay this is my terminal first screen okay now i am again clearing this screen the next command comes if you want to check the content of a folder or file okay or of a user 
then you have to type ls ls command is used to show or to list the material of a particular highload folder okay here in the root home directory of root you can see these are the files or folder that exist okay another command is that hyphen ls hyphen a okay if you will type this command then you will see that dot some folders that contains dot or files that contain dot it means these are the hidden files that uh, didn't show pre by previous command okay ls command only shows the unhidden file or folder but if you will type ls hyphen la this will show you all files and folders that are hidden or unhidden okay now again let me clear my screen next to this we have a command to create a folder okay so to create a directory or folder we have a command that is mkdir mkdir stand for make directory and next to this we have to type the name of folder for example i am writing new folder okay let me uh, show you that there is no folder we have just two folder that is deepak and desktop okay so now i am typing here mkdir okay and then i am here typing the name of folder that is my new folder or new directory okay and typing here new folder and enter now you can check here hi ls now you can see in the right corner that you will see a new folder that is new folder and if you want to check the details of this folder then you have to type ls hyphen h okay mm. oh, sorry yes here ls hyphen ls here you will see what is the use of this command here we can um, easily identify that which is directory or which one is file so here you will see in the left middle that there are some uh, codes like dr w x r hyphen x something like this so you uh, look at the first position okay here if uh, some uh, if one has hyphen or one has d okay so if any of these it has hyphen it means it is a file or one has d then it has a it means it is directory d stand for directory and hyphen stand for file so in this way you can check that which one is file or which one is directory here you can uh, watch the new folder is a directory and here you can also check the owner of this file or folder and the size of this file or folder on which date it was created and the time on which at which it was created okay these information you can watch here and again just clear and next command is how we can create multiple folders at a time so you have to use the same command make dir and just type the multiple folder at a time for example i am creating a b c f d these are four folder okay you have to just type the name of this folder and give a space again type the name of this uh, folder and give a space for example a b and b c or c d and d e these are four folder okay if you will check ls and enter now you can see that a b b c c or c d and a these four folders have been created on my system now if you want to delete these folders or, uh, then you have to type r m hyphen r f okay r m hyphen r f remove recursively file or folder okay so if you, if i want to delete a b then i will type here a b now you will check that there is no a b folder and if you want to delete multiple folder then you have to type a b has already deleted now you will type bc and cd and de okay and enter now you will see that oh sorry there is no folder like this now the uh, next command is how to create a file so to create a file we have a command that is touch okay T touch is a command through which we can create an empty file so if i want to create a, a, a text file that is a.txt just type touch space a.txt okay now you will see that there is a file that is named a.txt and if you want to check the content of this file then you have to type cat a.txt okay a.txt now enter now it is empty file you can also create a file through cat but how let me show you just type cat greater than and a dot sorry i am creating b dot txt here a dot txt already created enter now you will see that there is a blinking cursor will be go down here you have to type the content okay i i am from jepu 
you are welcome at Linux Kings. Okay, after this you will press Control C. Okay, then you will see uh, if you will check that there is a B dot uh, txt is a file and if you want to check the content then you have to type cat b dot txt and enter now you can see that the content hi i am from japan you are welcome at linux kings so in this way you can uh, create file using cat as well there are some editors as well which we can use to create a file and we can learn many more about the linux so stay updated with me i will see you in the next video that's more enough for this video Guys, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe my channel and please also share with your friends.